your intervention. Mr. Speaker, so that we dispense of uh, this matter and also for posterity because traditions and precedent are important, I rise under Article 75 on the conduct of state officers, Mr. Speaker, and I beg to read and I shall be very quick. A state officer shall behave whether in public, an official in private life or in association with other persons in a matter, in a manner that avoids any conflict between personal interests and public or official duties, compromising any public or official interest in favor of a personal interest. So, Speaker, I invite you also to look at our standing orders just in quick succession of uh, standing order number 252 on attendance before the National Assembly and reverse. So, Speaker, uh, Mwishmiwa Silvana Sosoro is a member of Parliament of South Mugirango, where the Deputy Governor is facing impeachment uh, allegations. Number two is the majority chief whip in the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker. So my concern, in as much as I'm aware of Article 50, but you must interpret the Constitution both Article 50 and Article 73, Mr. Speaker, I'm aware Deputy Governor Monda is allowed to have a legal representative of his own choice. Mr. Speaker, is it in order for my brother, Meshmiwa Silvanas Osoro, the MP of South Mugirango, to appear on behalf of Robert uh, Monda, the Deputy Governor? One, because he's a state officer, and two, of conflict of interest that he might send a mixed signals that uh, he is a chief whip of the majority side in the National Assembly. And number three, whether looking at standing order 252, whether the procedure of ensuring him appears before the Senate, not only as an advocate, but also as a member of parliament. Mr. McHugh, under Article 93, member of parliament is both a senator and a member of National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, some of us who are learned friends would have wished to appear on, either, on behalf of either side. If we allow Honorable Soro to appear, it means as a member of parliament, as defined under Article 93 of the Constitution, we can also appear on behalf of either side that are bringing impeachment motions, Mr. Speaker. And number two, and finally, it is in the public domain, and this will be my conclusion, that uh, the governor of uh, Kisi, Bishmua Simbarati, and Honorable Silvana Sosoro have had a public altercation. Mr. Speaker, I beg that we should not use Senate as a playground of local politics of what is happening in Kisi, Mr. Speaker. Could it be Senator Osoro, uh, uh, Honorable Osoro, and Simba Governor Arati extending their playful political ground to the Republic of Senate, Mr. Speaker, where we are here only to listen to charges that have the basis of evidence and can stand the test of legal and constitutional and standing orders, Mr. Speaker. So I beg that you rule that Honorable Soro should uh, relinquish himself from representing Honorable Monda go back to his house business in the National Assembly and serve our party, the UDA and Kenya Kwanza majority national, he is a chief whip. We might lose some of the bills at the National Assembly while Mweshimia Osoro is busy representing for personal, financial, gainful, and propelling his professional at the expense of the position that we gave him in the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker. So I beg your ruling, and Senator Osoro should go back to serve the people of South Mugirango and members of National Assembly, Mr. Speaker, and allow this House to proceed. And I know Senior Counsel Katwa Keegan and the other retinue of colleague Learned can do their job well, Mr. Speaker. So I, I request that on PO, let's uh, let Mweshmu Osoro there is no problem. They can still continue fighting with Governor Rati in funerals in Kisi, but not in this house. I submit, Mr. Speaker, sir. No. Yes, Senator Boni. 
Thank I you. I hope ma it's a new matter altogether, not related to what has already been raised. Mr. Speaker. Is it something new, Senator Boni? Yes. Proceed. It is new to the extent that he has raised 